Hello there everyone, it's Blue here back with another one of my Fallout 4 settlements and this one it's much larger and uh, much more edgy, it's in fact a raider settlement. It's down in Jamaica Plains and when I had a look at the place empty I decided this would make for one hell of a car boot sale vibe, doesn't it? So I decided to take this little courtyard area and turn it into a full on raider marketplace um, and I realised that there are a couple of marketplaces in the game, Bunker Hill comes to mind, but nothing as truly raider as this, so I wanted to show you how you can kind of decorate various st uh, traders and stands to make them look like a lived-in part of your settlement. So I put a couple of booze stills um, and various drinks, some barrels, some uh, even a looted espresso machine there to make the bar really stand out. Put a couple of tents down, some mannequins, some clothing, and some stolen furniture for the outfitter. Now this one I'm quite uh, pleased with. This is uh, more or less a trapper and hunting stand. So I've got some dog armor, you can see some feral dogs and some uh, junkyard dogs. Various bits of armor and uh, lobster cage and bear traps and so on lying around there. And of course, no raider settlement would be complete without its little chem stand to deal with all of the addictions. So a few pick-me-up stations in the back and then decorate it with some chems lying around on the table. And uh, you do occasionally see settlers, of course, go in behind there and start shooting themselves up. Which adds to the atmosphere. And of course, no market would be complete without its tribute tax chest, as it were that goes to the overboss. So we have a guard there on that, keeping an eye on the place. And then this one I really, really like. You use the rug glitch to put a uh, weapons trader into a counter. So you can see that it's actually a part of it and the uh, traders will go behind and use it. You put a counter across, you have some wooden foundations raised up because you want your weapons to be up out of arm's reach of all of the immediate passerby. Um, and then decorate the place with some ammo boxes, explosives, some nice power armor and as many raidery feeling guns as you can possibly get your hands on. And of course, what trader post would be complete without your actual roaming traders and some glitchy Brahmin, because Brahmin themselves are just so glitchy by nature. Um, and then we have a little gear trading thing. Um, you can put a couple of crates around and things. I've got some fiery barrels to give the place a sense of warmth, some sort of lived in ideas. And then we've got a little shack because I realized if you have a trading post, um, like most towns in real life, trading areas, people coming through, they're going to want somewhere to stay, aren't they? Um, B&Bs, hotels and so on exist for that reason. So we have nothing much up here, a couple of sleeping bags and some furniture and that's it really. However, you can see on the downstairs um, what it would actually look like with a much more lived in vibe. So a couple of clothes down, some food and drink from passing traders and I wanted to keep the passers, the people who are passing through, I wanted to keep it very much light. I mean, they travel light, so they're all on sleeping bags and so on. That'll be for your caravan guards and various roaming raiders that are coming through. That's the view from the rear of it. You can see I put a couple of spikes and wooden uh, posts and so on in to give it that spindly effect um, and make it look like it's really almost about to fall over. This one is uh, actually passing underneath another similar shack to go into the bombed out remains of the old house that's in Jamaica Plains. And I wanted to make this into the sort of garage area. So I left some of the toolboxes, I didn't scrap them, I actually throw down a couple of um, ramshackle tiles, and floor bits, leave some more crates and things around, and then some broken bits of robot sign all over the place. And uh, there isn't really much to do with the inside of the building itself. I just left them that, I, I left that bombed out, because they're raiders, they don't generally care about uh, mess about the place, they're not too worried about trying to furnish anything. Um, and it loops back up onto the marketplace itself, and uh, well, it's a lovely view of the place, but these, I love these. Uh, it turns out you can glitch skulls into things using OC Decorator, and so I've glitched them into some bits of furniture, and you'll actually catch them scattered throughout the marketplace itself. Again, more crates, as many crates and barrels and canned food and things as you can get around the place. Anything that looks like the marketplace itself has a stockpile of stuff, because of course it is. The traders themselves are going to have reserves and stockpiles of things that are here. Um, that people are buying and selling. And then I wanted to create a something of a, a more permanent residence on this one. So um, you'll actually see the little pumpkin full of treats there. For the Raiders you'll find more food, more... Um, what separates this from the temporary housing is that this one actually has their own furniture and so they'll put their own things away rather than just having things temporarily laying on the floor for one night. Um, I've got a mixture of different permanent beds there and some weapon racks, some shelving and so on thrown around and then it kind of loops back around onto the marketplace itself. 
So, hopefully you guys got a few ideas from that on how to uh, maybe go about decorating traders themselves and integrating them into your settlement to make it look that much more lived in. Um, I absolutely love that outfitter. I think the outfitter and the gun shop are my personal favorites, but feel free to let me know what you like. Oh, and quick mention about the bar traders themselves, if you didn't know it. Um, wherever you put the bar stand, um, twice a day at both the beginning and the end of the day all of your settlers and raiders alike will stop doing whatever it is that they're doing and come hang out and lounge around in the bar area so if you want to put some comfy furniture and various other things around there you can make that the actual center of where everyone socializes in your settlement and it means that they actually behave and flow through the settlement in a way that looks natural so hopefully you guys enjoy um having a quick look at my raider settlement and coming up next i have I think it's going to be bunkers next, bunkers and guard posts and the like, because I have a few different ideas.